Park Trailhead in the Nordhaus Dunes Wilderness System, Manistee National Forest. Just got done paying our fee. It's five dollars per vehicle per day, or fifteen for the week. So we just went ahead and did fifteen. So you end up at the Nordhaus Dunes Nuremberg Trailhead. Please leave the pen in the box. Super nice. Really nice facilities considering it's a rustic trailhead. It's like no one else has our dire urge for adventure. All right, we just got our gators on as you can see. Uh, boots and gators are on, so now we're gonna grab our packs and uh, hit the trail. Plenty of dead and down around here. There's a lot leaning, which hopefully will be a little bit drier. When we're talking about dead and down, we mean trees that have not only died, but have fallen of their own accord. In public land, you're allowed to take firewood and burn it, but it has to be dead and on the ground. You can't cut a dead tree down for firewood at your campsite. So that's why it's always nice to look around and see what kind of wood you got and survey the area. Got to take care of the woods too. Points during the year, the snow comes up to here. You can see the, all the moss line on all the trees. And we're gonna be camping all the way over there in the woods. Maybe actually a little over there. So when you come in from the road, you come in from over here you come down, this is the entrance that you normally come across. And then we just continue right down here, keep going around it. All right, guys, uh, we've made it to the previously established campsite we were aiming for. We're gonna unpack, unbag, show you some of our setup. All right, so we got our bags up. It's so another reason we like this spot is this little pine here has just got all these little nubs at the perfect height. It's nice to have a defined area uh, clearly, people have been in here and packed it down a little bit and cleared it out. So, you know, when possible, always try and camp where other people have already camped if it's legal to camp there. So there you've got it guys. That's our base camp tent. Uh, if we need it to hold more weight, we'll run a ridge line across the, between the poles to hold the peak up. We put the table and all our gear under here. We're good to go. Got our AquaQuest tarps up. Hammocks nice and high underneath. We always try and hang our feet a little bit higher than our heads because of the way the body balances in a hammock. Mostly for knots, we've just been using either bowlins or top line hitches. John's a little lower, but he's safe, man. Look at that. And that's camp. That's our setup, man. It's getting a little chilly. It's getting a little dark. So we'll probably try and start a fire here. I know we make it look super easy, but could be because it is. It's smoky, but there's fire, man. All right, so we got some nice, juicy steaks. We're gonna just toss them on the coals and sear them a little, just to seal in all the juices. Probably put a little seasoning on them. Uh, once they've been cooked a little, not really cooked, but seared, uh, we're gonna pull them off, and then we'll toss them on our little uh, stove that we got. Now we gotta move the stakes back up. There's so much meat there, you know. 
we're just, you know, we gave them a good sear on the coals and now we're going to just let them slow cook, probably build some fire up, uh, get some more heat up in there. It is going to be worth it. John's just building up the fire now. With accumulated snow in my chair. Let's see, if we can, let's see if we can check that out. There is snow accumulating in the chairs. She's definitely snowing. Glad we got that base camp shelter set up. Protect all our stuff so we can just pull it all in tonight. Stakes are still going. Got our wood pile. But it is uh, snowy. Ought to go ahead and show everyone the official temperature record. Maybe 30. The steaks are finally done. It's about 10.30, so it took about an hour, I'd say. Got that raccoon running around. We've had a visitor all night since we started cooking. He's going to be real upset that he doesn't get any of this, so... Let me see if I can... She's done. Cooked perfectly. I'm going to sit here and eat for a while. Try and keep the raccoons away. It is amazing. We're not alone in the woods. Hey, guy. Oh, he's cute. He'd be a lot cuter if he wasn't trying to, like, ravage our camp while we were asleep. So we got raccoons and a fire. Beautiful moon that you probably can't see. Oh, wow, you can see it. Enjoy the moon and our fire while I finish my sandwich. All right, just getting the bear bag ready. Uh, since we've seen raccoons, we definitely want to make sure we hang it right to get it up and uh, out of the reach of uh, animals. So we tied the end of that string onto a stick. John's gonna lob it up over that branch up there. Success. And then he hoists the bag up. There you go, folks. We got a bear bag and a tree. Now we just tie it off. You know, we're just gonna hit the hay a little early for us. Try and wake up a little early. It's gonna be chilly tomorrow, but there shouldn't be any precipitation. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Is that hot? It is that hot. You know, we'll leave that in, because people are always saying they wish we'd leave more stuff in. Weather should be good. A little chilly, but... It's not supposed to rain or anything or snow at all tomorrow. It'll be nice. It will be nice. Oh, jeez, it is hot. Uh, we're going to wake up, you know, whenever tomorrow and have another day. Good night, John. Good night, Drew. Good night, guys. Uh, it's, it's, it's noon. Good morning. You up, John? I'm up. Heck yeah. All right, so we're just gonna start breakfast up here. Uh, this is an egg carrier by Coughlin. Uh, put a little piece of bubble wrap in the bottom of there, because not all eggs are the same size. We need to save an egg for the cornbread. And then we just put water in this. Just over the top of them because you don't want to don't want to waste water. And then we'll put that on the fire and let it boil. And once it comes to a boil, you give it about 10 minutes. Um, we're cooking it off to the side here, just in front of it, so none of the the grease drips into the fire and flares it up. And we'll be in soon. So I'm going to let these sit off to the side and cool for a little bit. The bacon's doing pretty well. So our bacon's cooled off a little. You just take a you just take a little bit of the bacon. Put it on the other half of the slice of bread from yesterday. And we got, you know, an egg split in half here. Got a baby bell cheese. What more could you want for breakfast, man? Letting the fire die down. 
uh, so we can head back to the car. Uh, I'm going to go grab my wool blanket, stay a little bit warmer when we hike to the lake. It's a little windier today than we thought it'd be. We woke up kind of later than we thought because we didn't set an alarm because we wanted to sleep. Today we're going to, you know, hike back to the car, get the stuff John needs to get, uh, come back, and then we're going to get some trail footage hiking around the trails around Nordhaus. And tomorrow, we're just going to pack up our base camp, get it back to the car, and then we're going to hike out to the spot. Yeah. Yeah. That's the plan. Getting ready to go out. Going to take a different trail back to the car. It'll be nice to get hiking again, get warmed up, get the whole body warmed up. I always think this plant looks like the save point in a video game. <laughs> like it doesn't belong, it's just sitting there. One, one lone woolly mullen. You know what that is? Yeah. A woolly mullen? It is a beautiful lake. It is. Uh, we're at the head of that goat trail uh, we went down, and then we're going to head back to the Nuremberg trailhead, and then hike up the road just... So John had some problems going into four-wheel drive yesterday when we hit the water. And it started making this terrible sound, and we're hoping it's not making it anymore. You also, one of your brake lights is out. Really? Yeah. I agree. Uh, but I figure what we're going to do, you know, that's, that's a thing. Well, we'll get back to camp and we'll make a plan. If we have to cut our trip early so John can get his car fixed before he has to go to work, that's, uh, you know, work is what gives us money to do these trips, so. Gotta do what we gotta do. Gotta do what we gotta do.